Hello, my name is Brian Howard. I'm the town clerk here in the town of Randolph. And I'd like to go over some voting information that I think will be helpful to you, the residents at home. Remember that Tuesday, November 4th, is the presidential election. The poll locations in Randolph will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Due to the large volume of turnout expected for this election, you may find it helpful to vote between 9 a.m. and noon and 2 and 4 p.m. But remember, the polls are open again from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Lions School, Precinct 5 and 6, Precinct 5 in particular, voters may park behind the school as school will be closed. That will allow you quicker access to your precinct. The last day to get an absentee ballot for this election is Monday, November 3rd at noon at the town clerk's office. You may also vote in person absentee at the town clerk's office and you may do so during our regular business hours. Absentee ballots mailed to residents within the continental United States must be returned to the town clerk's office by 8 p.m. on election day. Make sure that you call us or email us or visit the town's website for any election related questions you may have. And we want you, the voters at home, to be informed voters. First off, as you vote, make sure you fill in the ovals completely on your ballot. Look to see how many voters you have in a particular race. For example, you can vote for two candidates in the county commissioner's race. If you vote for more candidates than the race calls for, you have overvoted that race on your ballot. The voting machine will reject your ballot to give you, the voter, an opportunity to vote a new ballot. State law allows you up to three ballots during the voting process. To vote for a person not on the ballot, you have to make sure that you fill in the oval next to the write-in space on your ballot. Once you fill in the oval, you can write the name and address of your candidate. This year's ballot is a two-sided ballot. Candidate races are on one side of the ballot, and the ballot questions are located on the other side of the ballot. This year, there are three ballot questions. Be informed on the ballot questions. Go to the town clerk's website, click on Election Central, and you can view the Secretary of State's voter information booklet with all the information necessary to be an informed voter on this year's three ballot questions. Remember, if you have any questions on Election Day, you can contact the town clerk's office at 961-0900 and at the polling locations, make sure you talk to your election officials. Every voter has a right to a ballot and a right to a vote. So be an informed voter and make sure you contact us. I would now like to go over some information that I think you will find helpful as you go to vote at our polling locations. When you first enter a location, there will be two signs. Each sign corresponds to different streets. You will enter the line of which your street is located. The poll worker will then ask you your street name, your house number, and your name. They will then check your name off on the books, they will provide you a ballot, and you will vote. In some cases, your name will be bold with an ID next to your name. This is for voters who must show ID as this is the first time they are voting here in the town of Randolph. State law is clear that voters who register by mail and vote for the first time must provide an ID. ID is any document you may have, and certainly your driver's license would count, but any document you have that shows your name and a Randolph address. It can be a utility bill, it can be a mortgage statement, a bank check, any document that has your name and your address here in the town of Randolph. If you are not found on the polling list at the end desk, you will go to see the warden for further assistance. The warden will then check the inactive list. The inactive list are registered voters in the town of Randolph who did not answer their annual town census. There are some other cases where you may be listed as an inactive voter, but most fall into that category. If you are on the inactive list, again, you will need to produce an ID that has your name and a current Randolph address here in the town of Randolph. If you are not located on the inactive voter list, the warden will then check the townwide voting list. Often, voters are appearing at the wrong precinct. We certainly suggest that voters, before they go to vote, can go to the town clerk's office website, type in their address, and check their polling location. 
If you'd like to check your voting status, you need to call us or email us so that we can let you know whether you're an active voter here in the town of Randolph. If you are not located on the town-wide voting list, you still have the right to vote here in the town of Randolph. You will vote by provisional ballot. You will fill out a voter affirmation form swearing under oath that you are a registered voter here in Randolph. You will fill out some other information and you will vote. Your vote will then be placed in a provisional ballot envelope and be returned to the town clerk's office after the election. We then search through three years worth of town records to find whether or not you are a registered voter here in Randolph. If so, your ballot will be counted. If you are not located on the active voting list, the inactive voter list, or the townwide voting list, you still have a right to vote. If you believe as a Randolph resident, you have registered to vote here in the town of Randolph or through the registry of motor vehicles or mailed in a form, you still have an opportunity to vote on election day. You will fill out a provisional ballot, you will fill out a provisional ballot envelope, and you will fill out a provisional ballot affirmation form. This information will be filled out and returned to the town clerk's office after the election. This will allow us, the town clerk's office, to work with the central voter registry and the registry of motor vehicles to try and locate your voting information. If it is located and you are a registered voter, your vote will count. Now remember, state law is that there can be no campaign materials within 150 feet of a polling location. So that means that when you come to vote, any political hats, bumper stickers, shirts cannot be worn or displayed in a polling location. You may, however, as a voter, bring in information to help yourself vote. Once you have completed your ballot, you will then check out of your precinct and place your ballot in the voting machine. Congratulations, you have now completed the voting process here in the town of Randolph. If you have any elections related questions before the election day itself, we welcome you to call us at 781-961-0900 or visit us at our website at www.randolphtownclerk.com. My name is Brian Howard. I'm the town clerk and registrar here in the town of Randolph. I hope you found this video helpful and make sure that you come out and vote on November 4th, 2008. Thank you.